What's up YouTube, it's Maestro, and in today's video, I'm going to be discussing with you about the Nord Stage 3's transpose button. I will also be kind of giving an overview on how to use it, and my official thoughts on the transpose button, and if it's an, and if it's an effective uh, tool to use while playing. Let's get it. Alright guys, so on the Nord Stage 3, you have the transpose button located here. Now if you want to activate the transpose button, all you have to do is press transpose and you're in the transpose section. However, if you would like to actually change the transposition of wherever you're playing, what you want to do is hold transpose and select whatever sec whatever semitone you want. So we could go negative one semitone. So if we were playing in C sharp originally, now we're playing in C. <laughs> Now, initial thoughts on the transpose button for the North Stage 3 coming from the YC61, um, I don't like it. Um, and I'm going to tell you why. Sometimes I like to be lazy, a lot of us musicians, especially keyboardists. Uh, sometimes we don't feel like playing in a different key and we just want to stay, stay comfortable in that key for that time being, uh, whether we're playing in a service, a gig, or just by ourselves. And so, for example, on the YC61, there was a button located right in around here. And all you had to do to transpose was click the button and you're transposing whatever key you want to play and you can just easily go back. With the Stage 3 or, the, or even the Electro uh, 6D, the transpose button is located here. And it's okay, but you cannot uh, just simply transpose easily. You will have to hold this transpose button and then transpose as needed. Um, another thing that I noticed, uh, which is very prominent with Nord keyboards, is that they do a lot of things by default. Um, so, for example, if you're uh, transposing in, like, say, the YC61 or any other keyboard, most of the time you have a zero semitone option, um, just to kind of put everything back. And with the Nord, you don't. Um, it just starts either at negative one semitones or negative or plus one semitone. And so, say if I'm playing in C sharp or they want to go to C and I just want to play and then say they want to go back up to C sharp so what I could do possibly uh, let me just honestly turn off the transpose But say I didn't want to do that and I just wanted to say just go from transpose and then hit zero semitones. I couldn't do that. <laughs> it would go from C all the way to D. So whereas I was playing originally in C sharp but transpose to C, if I did it, then I would go to D. So with that, I don't like it. Um, and again, there's no actual buttons to just transpose I guess just to transpose, hit the transpose button, go to where you want to. You have to initially just go, hold here, then transpose. Unless I'm missing something, that's the only thing that I'm seeing with the transpose button on the on the North Stage 3. Um, but I do see it as a challenge in a way. Uh, so if you're one of those musicians that like to transpose a lot, this will be a good challenge for you to start actually learning to play in all your keys. Um, so you don't have to be relying on the transpose button. So in that manner, it is effective in helping you learn all your keys. That's it for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks again for watching. As always, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave them in the comments section below, and I'll get to them as soon as I can. Don't forget to check out the full worship sound pack and the new soul patch sound pack at ismarshall.com, and check out the amazing merch as well that I have available. Thanks again for watching, and always remember, continue to make music great again.